Are you ready to go flying? Well, we're waiting to go to the airport. I'm waiting on Gina. She's a few minutes late. I'm getting a little worried that she might not make it, and so is she. So we may have to drive ourselves. Do you want to drive? Hmm? I think we're gonna drive. It's okay, Gina. It happens. You guys see this right back here? I mean, look at this. Look at this. Person parks that far over the line. Who parks like a d On the escalator. Come on, you got it, come on. Come on. Good girl. Part one of this adventure is done is getting to the parking garage. Now we're at the airport. Everybody seems to be pretty receptive to the dog. All right, we gotta go down one more. You can do it, come on, come on, you can do it. There you go. Sometimes we all just need a little push in life. We're gonna drop this bag off here because it's too much and I can't carry it on, not with her and the camera. I gotta fill out a bag tag because I don't have one on this and I don't want it to get lost. Southwest is usually like the busiest airline here because they have the market and it's not that bad. Okay. Now we need to check the bag and show them the paperwork so we can get going. Take one. Okay, appreciate it. Have a good day. If any of you fly with a dog, Southwest, super nice people. <laughs> good girl, Zara. You like the doggy? You like this more? Everyone's been playing with her the entire time. So I gave her her medicine. We're about ready to leave here and board in like 10 minutes. Later. I'm using my iPhone because I can't use the big camera and carry her all at the same time. It's just too much. Good, you having fun? What do you see out there? <laughs> Hello. We made it, didn't we? Having fun? You ready? like really really good actually so everybody on the flight was super nice and it went pretty smooth so now we're here in Phoenix I'm gonna try to see if I can get her to go to the bathroom and then we have to go catch the next flight almost there come on let's go come on come on, come on. Good girl. Zara are you gonna tell them that we found a pet relief area they actually have one so we're gonna go check it out real quick we got like 20 minutes before the flight boards are you excited I gave her the drugs and she was sleepy and now she's not. Here we are. Sorry, over here. Look, Baba. Look. You wanna go potty? I don't think she really likes it that much. I wouldn't either. But I was hoping she'd go. Alright, Baba. If you didn't want to go potty. We're gonna go now. Okay, Zara, this is your last one. They actually let us pre-board. I'm the first one on the flight. So we get a bulkhead. First seat on the plane. And then we're there. Are you tired now? Thank you guys very much. Bye bye. Come on. <laughs> that went well. That wasn't that bad. So now we got to go pick the rental car up. Come here. We're gonna go over here. We're hitting every pet relief area every airport has. Come here. Okay. I let you off. There you go. 
Bummer. No bags. Gotta figure out where they went. You ready? Come on, we're gonna go this way. All right, we found our bags. They were actually back in the back. They hadn't brought them out yet. Whew. Everybody freaking loves this dog, by the way. Like, she was the easiest thing to travel with and everybody was happy to have her sit with them. In fact, everybody wanted to hold her. Zara, what was your favorite part of the flight? Huh? Okay, you ready? Let's go. Nope. Bubba, are you ready to go? That lady at the Advantage car rental, uh, Ashley, Super nice, like hooked us up, upgraded our car. We talked, she loved the dog. Everybody loves this dog. So we're gonna get the car and then we're gonna go. I think she's hungry. Okay, on your side. She's pooped, I mean exhausted, like the medicine must really be working now. Now I'm gonna call Alicia, see if she's ready for us to come over. Hi. Are you in the car? Yeah, but we're not driving yet. We're just sitting here waiting. I'm getting ready to pull out, so. Are you at home yet? No, we'll probably be back in like 20 minutes. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, love you, bye. Love you, bye. I think you're excited to see me. Before we go real quick, I have to ask, is this an Oklahoma thing or is it like countrywide and I just don't know it? I'm in the same position as last time. These stupid pump buttons. Where is the electric seat? It really is quite nice here. It's it's a nice day. Bobby, do you know where we are? Come on, go find out. Let's go. Okay, jump down. Jump down. You can do it. Come on, Bubba. All right. I help you. Let's go. Come on. We're going up. Do you even know where you're going? I think she knows where she's going. Come on. Or maybe not. Upstairs. All right, Chunky Booty. Chunky Chunks. Dara. Chunky Chunks. Who is that? Oh, Chunkies. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you tired? That's your doggy. What are you doing? Well, let's see how much stuff gets chewed up, peed on, broken. Chunky. Yeah. She's here. Where's the angel guy? Chunky booty. What is she doing? She's like out of it. Dara Bubba. Dara, do you like your bottle? Tell everybody who's watching the video, how much fun are you having here in Oklahoma? We're going to a Oklahoma version of Benihana tonight with my class and they invited Chris. Yay! It's gonna be really interesting. What have you learned since you've been here? Is this harder than you thought or? It's hard, but not as hard as you thought it was gonna be. Not as hard. That's like good. what aspect of it? Well, just like learning stuff that you don't know anything about. Oh yeah. Some of it clicks, some of it I need to look at more. Are you glad the doggie's here? Chunky booty. We, we got her another, well, Alicia <laughs> saved her a bottle, a Gatorade bottle, which she loves, but we're gonna go get her, we're gonna go get her fresh food and make it because- Did you bring different jeans? No, I just brought these. I have shorts. Oh. Why? I don't like this cheese. Uh, yeah, one cup's probably good. We have to go back and get more, we will. We've got Zara, food from PetSmart because I didn't want to bring her nasty food with us and she doesn't like it. So Alicia's feeding her dinner and in the meantime, we picked her up. One, two, three, four, five, six toys. So does that mean that she's staying here or she's going back? We're gonna end this vlog for today now. We're going to dinner with some of her classmates at some place like a Benihana, which all is like a- my classmates. Oh, all of them? I think I'm gonna be on the stand. More to come tomorrow, which I have no idea what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna run around and find out what Oklahoma has to offer. Do you know? Nothing, nothing. Don't believe her, they have to have some. Okay, tomorrow.
it's morning in Oklahoma. Uh, if you guys can't tell, I'm a little bit sick from the bike ride that we did last week. Uh, I think I overtrained a little bit, which uh, kind of sucks. So I took a couple of sick days from work because I just didn't really feel all that great and uh, figured it probably wasn't a good idea to be around everybody at work in case it was contagious. I didn't get them sick, so I figured if I'm not going to be at work and I have nothing to do, why not take a couple of extra days and come see Alicia. We, her and I, are gonna go and run around downtown. I gotta look though on the internet to see if I can fly the drone down there. I'm not sure if I can. Oh yes, thank you. You wanna play? Go get it. She consistently wants to play all the time. I have to check in for my flight and then check on the internet to see if I'm allowed to even fly the drone downtown. There's still cool stuff. I want to check out the Oklahoma bombing down there and hopefully get her exhausted because Alicia and I are going to go on a date night tonight for dinner. We're pretty much done for the night. I have to get up early in the morning because my flight leaves first thing to get back to San Diego because I have work that afternoon. Work. Work is killing me! Okay, give me your foot. We're going downtown now. Welcome to another episode of Driving with Chunky Booty. Zara, you wanted to go this way. Zara, if you had to rate Oklahoma City on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you give it? That's quite modest of you. Zara, do you like Oklahoma enough or do you want to come back to California? Traitor! Zara, if you had to give one thing that you like most about Oklahoma City, what would it be? Pay attention to me, bro! That's a mighty big skyscraper you got there. <laughs> wait a minute, that's what she said. Or, wait, she did say that. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Riding with Chunky Booty. We just got out of the car to go try to pay to park where we're at and this stupid machine right out there has an out of order so go find another one so we'd go run down the street and that one's screen is completely blacked out we can't even use it so then i go run down the street to the other direction and that one's just as bad oklahoma you have a two on my fun factor scale right now you're not impressing me take two now i think we found one that may actually work hopefully this is worth it this is the moment of truth right here. I think I can make that work. Can you guys see that? The screen is like all grayed out. Like you want to collect your money, fix your equipment. Well, guess what? That one didn't work either. I'm really starting to get... All right, do you guys see this? This is machine number five. Oklahoma, you suck. You're not gonna believe it, but we actually found a parking spot. The view's pretty cool. We're at a botanical garden right now that's down here that's pretty neat. And then we're gonna try to go over to the uh, Oklahoma City Bombing Memorial if we have time. That took me like an hour and a half to find a parking spot. So we're gonna walk around and see what's in here. I don't think I can fly the drone because it is so windy down here. But let's see what they got. This is actually really nice down here. It's really kind of cool. There's like a pumpkin patch right over here with a bunch of kids that are here. Might be why it's so busy today. Sorry, you lead the way, okay? Look at this. Wow, this is pretty cool. I think she wants to see the ducks. I'm not sure, or geese, whatever they are. Over here. Watch them. Don't jump in. Don't jump in. Zara, hey, I think this duck over here is eyeing you down. Get him. This is really quite impressive back here. Like, it's really nice, and it's a beautiful day down here. It was hard to find parking. By the way, if you guys are still watching this, click the subscribe button down here. Subscribe! Just do it! Pass it on to your friends if you're interested still. Let's go find something else to do, okay? Sorry, where are you taking us to now, huh? I think she's having a great time down here. It's like really nice. You wanna see the water? You gonna get in? Yeah, I, I don't think so. Oh wait, are we getting in? The leaves on the trees are actually starting to change back here. 
surprising that we're like mid-October and they're just now changing. But it's really cool down here though. Let's go this way. Come on. We just found a really cool waterfall that's over here and we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna stop. Ooh, look, Sarah. <laughs> Still afraid? how fast these clouds are moving back here. That's why I don't think I'm gonna fly the drone today. So if you guys didn't see, Jose and I put up episode number two the other day. I'll put the links down below so you guys can click, listen, subscribe, give us feedback, join our Facebook page. We've got Instagram and Twitter. It went pretty well. This was a lot more fun topics to talk about and someone actually sent us a question. So it went well, we've got more to come. Zara, look. Someone's gonna get married. Oh, the magical memories that we had on our special day. Whatever, right Gina? If you guys wanna keep up with Alicia and I, we do a lot of posting on our Instagram stories through the week, so if the videos aren't enough, you can follow us on our Instagram page, which our links are down below for Instagram, or I've got them at the end of the video, so you can follow us there too. It's all right, I think you're gonna like this. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah. <laughs> Say bye. Say what you want about Oklahoma, it's not all that bad on a day like today. I'm not sure exactly what's inside this. I think it's the botanical garden itself. I think you have to pay to go in it and we don't really have a whole lot of time because I still got to go to the other place and then go pick Alicia up. I kind of want to jump in this. Oh, Bubba, what did you find? We found a doggy park. So we're gonna check it out. Let's go through this one. You're gonna love this. Let me take this off of you, okay? All right, go play, go on, go play. This is cool. Like I would have never thought there'd be a dog park here for her to run around and play in. This is nice. You guys see this right down here, right there? That's 32 miles an hour. I thought about flying the drone and when I looked up the weather, cause the trees are blowing like crazy, like this flag back here, eh, not a good idea. So I had an idea of how to operate it safely in the area and not fly it over people, but I think the wind could wreak havoc on it. So unfortunately for this vlog, no drone footage. I just asked her if she was ready to go and she goes running off back that way. It's kind of like when I think we're gonna have kids and you're like, hey, come on, it's time to go, and then they go running off and then you gotta go chase them down. Bruh! Little Missy, what are you doing? Come on, time to go, let's go. Come on, I know you've had fun. We gotta go now, okay? Over here, come on, I know. Oh yeah, this is just what kids do. I don't wanna go. No, I want the candy bar. Gina, I was just thinking before I left, you know the last time you flew all this way to come to Oklahoma and see Alicia and she was like, oh yeah, great to see you. Where are you gonna stay? Your hotel is right back over there. It's called the Renaissance. Sorry, you see the squirrel? You gonna go get it? You gonna go get it? <laughs> Beat her. You weren't fast enough. You guys see this right here? Like this is why we're not flying the drone today. That tree is blown like all the way over. Too dangerous. Do you wanna to go to the Oklahoma City bombing now? Or no, I don't know if she's gonna make it. All right, the last stop on our tour, the Oklahoma City bombing memorial. The good thing after the parking fiasco that we had earlier, I was able to use the parking pass that I had from where we were just at to use it here, so now I don't have to pay again. Wow. Wait, wait. To cross Harvey at For those of you that don't know, because I'm not gonna talk when we get in here, but this is a bombing that happened years ago by a guy named Timothy McVeigh, 
who was inspired by a cult following basically that thought that government was trying to ruin the world and run people's lives and so he conspired a big plan to basically detonate a massive bomb at a government building which was here in Oklahoma City on the day of a massacre that happened uh, years ago prior to that and it's just sad it's kind of a very somber feeling here. This is very 9-11 memorial feeling to it. The water. In the picture you saw across from us here, there's what look like chairs that I believe symbolize how many people were lost their lives. So this is the building right behind us here that was bombed. It's a museum that you can go inside, but you gotta pay money and we're a little pushed for time. We're gonna walk around and take a look. So I didn't want to film too much, but it was kind of a pretty somber feeling. The wind was actually dead quiet down in where that water memorial was at. So we're pretty much done. I don't want to film too much down here because I don't think it's real respectful. So we're going to get in the car and then take her with us to go get Alicia. It's our date night. Are you excited? Am I supposed to be there? She's so weird. Tell them what's going on tomorrow. We're on a date. No, tomorrow. What's oh. all this crazy weather from? I was on the bus and they have a the weather person who said severe storms and thunderstorms and possible tornado watch. Which, which means you he gets to miss his flight. No, you get to take shelter in your bathtub because the sirens will be going off. It'll be like the movie Twister. <laughs> We're gonna have date night tonight. Zara and I had an absolute blast. I'm sad that you couldn't come though. Pretty girl, pretty. We are gonna try to go down to the botanical garden next time I come back because it's really pretty cool. I think you'd enjoy it. I didn't go inside, you guys know that. I have an early flight in the morning, but I'm not gonna record anything tomorrow because you already saw us coming here, so we're not gonna do the same thing going back. You're almost done with your basics class. After she's done with basics in two weeks, she goes on to the actual terminal class where she'll learn how to really control airplanes. Well, that's it for this episode. We're gonna go have dinner and... Cheesecake. Cheesecake for dessert. The doggie's at home sleeping because she's exa just exhausted. Exhausted? Exhausted. Let me see your tongue. You're stressed. You can see the marks on the side of your tongue where your teeth are because you're pressing your All right, well, like this. subscribe to the video. The channel's down here. Hit that button down there. Give us a thumbs up. Comment below. Don't forget, check out the Air Traffic Podcast Facebook page up in my description below. In your description below? Yeah, the description down here. Don't mock me. Just close the video out. Do your outro thing. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go.